Ever had one of those moments so full of joy and satisfaction that you just wish you could hold on to it forever? Or maybe you hit a peak of achievement and thought to yourself, how do I ever top this? These moments are what I like to call high vibe times. But how often do we actually pause and really soak them in? What if I told you that by hanging out here with me until the end of this video, you will uncover a simple but life-changing tactic that not only helps you boost your happiness, but also helps you keep that high contentment feeling rolling. Well, let's get right into it. Oprah Winfrey once said, The more you praise and celebrate your life, the more there is in life to celebrate. Well, that is spot on, especially for our discussion today. It's all about not just living those high vibe moments, but really locking them in. Learning to truly make note of them so you can stretch those high vibe times even longer and even further. Here's the cool part. Science actually backs up the idea of taking notes while you're in high times. A study from the Journal of Positive Psychology showed that people jotting down their positive experiences felt way better and healthier than those who didn't. But here's the kicker. These notes aren't just a nice walk down memory lane. They're designed to be your go-to when you hit a low vibe state. Reading back through these high vibe moments can be the perfect way to lift yourself out of a funk and get that mental momentum back on track. It's like you're creating a system, a cycle, where your high vibe times feed into keeping you afloat when you're in low vibe times. Henry David Thoreau had a point when he said, it's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. Well, we need to do more than just live through high times. We've got to truly dive into them, see them for the treasures that they are, and use them as fuel to keep our spirits high, even when life tries to drag them down. So, how do we weave this into our daily grind? You need to dive deep into the details when you're capturing these moments. Really take the time to spell out how you feel and use all sorts of mediums to get it down. You could write in a journal, you could record to your phone, whatever works for you. Now create a special spot for these treasures and even consider sharing them with someone regularly. A parent, a girlfriend, a best friend, whatever works. This turns into your personal highlight reel, but also your comeback kit when you're feeling low. Science shows us that referencing these high vibe states can be the quickest route back into high vibes when you're feeling low vibe. And this creates a powerful cycle that protects our mental momentum when we're trying to do big things in life. Take JK Rowling, for example. Before the world got its hands on Harry Potter, Rowling was navigating a sea of rejections and personal difficulties. But clinging to her joy of writing, her belief in her story, and her reflection on high vibe times, she was able to see the first copy of Harry Potter through. It was the purest stroke of inspiration I've ever had in my life. And I've been writing about him ever since. Having said that, now I stand back from it, yes, I do think it would make a good film because there's a lot of action in it. It's like she had her own manual for turning low vibes into high vibes, which allowed her to do something great, release Harry Potter. And hey, if it worked for Rowling, imagine what it could do for you. Documenting the good times is more than just memory saving. It's resilience building, creating your very own system to bounce back stronger and happier. Now, as we wrap this video up, think of this practice as your personal life hack. By actively noting down and revisiting these high vibe times, you are not just keeping memory. You are crafting a cycle for positivity and resilience. You're building a legacy of strength that not only celebrates the high times, but also powers you through the lows. So I ask you, why not start that cycle today? Grab what you need to capture those moments, a notebook, a phone, a computer, whatever, and create a life that thrives on high vibes, no matter what comes your way. So let's make the good times roll. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Spencer with Must Become. Always remember that your potential is your obligation, and so what you can become, you must become.